Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome to a mono game micro tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to cover uh, installing mono game, and also uh, everything we need to install mono game. Now, two things. Uh, one, uh, if you're using Linux or Mac, yes, you can use mono game, because that's the beauty of mono game, it works on all. Uh, however, one, uh, you can't compile shaders on either of these platforms. Um, they are slowly working on that, although when that will be done remains to be seen. However, it will eventually be done. Uh, if you're on Linux, uh, you have to use Zamarin Studio, and no, you cannot use the Flatpak version. So either you have to build Mono Game yourself, I'm oh, sorry, either you have to build Mono Develop yourself, or you there is a link in the community forums from someone who's already set up a repo that you just grabs it and builds it automatically through a script. Uh, I recommend that. If you're on a Mac, um, you can use Samarin Studio. However, I think you can also now use Visual Studio for Mac. And I don't have a Mac at all anymore, thankfully. Um, so I can't, I can't show you, unfortunately. However, this tutorial is just going to cover the Windows. If you're on the other platforms, it's very easy. And if you're on Linux, then you really don't need me anyway. Um, so first things first, uh, we need to go to monogame.net. You can find the link to this in the description. And we just want to go to downloads, monogame 3.6, grab whichever one you want, or rather, whichever one for your operating system. I'm going to go ahead and grab monogame 3.6 for Visual Studio. And while that's downloading, uh, you can click another link, which gives you uh, Visual Studio Community 2017. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that as well. Uh, I already have it installed. It's In fact, it's already up. Uh, no, I don't want to take it away. Um, okay, so first things first, open up Visual Studio 2017, hit continue. It, I, I already have it installed, so I don't know if it will let me show you the options. However, we'll, we will see what it does as soon as it launches here. Doo -doo. Right. So, I'm going to go on ahead and hit Modify. Wait again. I do like the new Visual Studio installer, by the way. It's a lot nicer. Okay, so uh, this is probably what you all see. I have the Universal Windows Platform Development, C++, and .NET uh, installed. Um, you only need to check .NET Desktop Development at the bare minimum if you're going to be working on anything with Model Game. If you want to make uh, Windows Store applications for Mono Game, you're going to need to click uh, right here where it says Universal Windows Platform Development. And then you just hit Install. And if you want the C++ one or any of these others, you're more than welcome to uh, grab the, any of these. And you can launch this thing at any time and grab stuff. Uh, and then just hit Install. Let it do its thing. Let it download and install. And then sign in. Yes, you have to sign in now. No, it's great. And then we're going to close out of that. Okay, so next thing after that is run the Mono Game Wizard, hit next. I agree. And yes, you can use older versions. However, you might as well go ahead and use the newest version. And then you just hit install and it installs everything. Okay, the next thing you need to search for is you need to do a Windows search for the Mono Game Pipeline. And I really recommend that you uh, put this down here in your taskbar. Although you don't have to if you don't want to. And then just go on ahead and open up Visual Studio. And go to File, New, Project. And in Templates, Visual C Sharp, Mono Game. And I'm actually going to go on ahead and move my project folder. I'm going to go on ahead and move this. Hang on. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to fork up YouTube. Okay. So I'm not going to keep this one, so I'm just going to dump it in the mono game folder because I'm not going to keep this project. And I'll just leave it at game one. It really doesn't matter. So let me, let's me let go on ahead and explain some stuff here. Uh, the mono game Windows project, obviously, as it says, it creates a DirectX project. This is, this is really nice if you're just going to be, uh, you know, uh, just only developing for Windows. I personally don't because I like Linux. I'm a big Linux guy. Um, next, we have Mono Game Windows Store project. Uh, this is what you want to use if you want to develop for the Windows Store, and this is a UWP app, very similar. I'm not actually entirely sure what the big difference is. Uh, 
The Windows 8.1 Universal app, there's pretty much no reason to use that anymore. And same thing for the Windows Phone. Uh, these two you'll probably never use. Most of these, these five right here, you'll probably definitely never use. But if you do, um, I'll be honest with you. Like I said, I'm not really too sure what what the difference is between a, a the Universal project and the store. Uh, I don't really do that for sort of development. Um, I'll have to actually look into that. Maybe make a, an additional video to this. Uh, the Android project, obviously, if you want to make a project because you're compiling for Android, you do need the Android tools installed to do this. Uh, you can create a iOS project, same thing. I believe you can create the iOS project on Windows. However, I don't think you can actually do anything without a Mac. So I'm not even sure why they actually include this. But I guess it lets you, uh, you know, same thing we have with XNA. You can make a project and then share source code so you can develop as you go and then you just move it over. Uh, the content pipeline extension obviously allows you to extend the monogame pipeline for whatever it is you happen to want. You want to explore a new file format or whatever you want to do. There's a lot of stuff you can do. I'm probably going to eventually write a tutorial series on that or do a video on it, but not today. Uh, next, we have the monogame cross-platform desktop project. This is what I mainly use because uh, the biggest change for this is there's no longer a Mac or a Linux version or a, just a GL version. Uh, and then, you know, you have your Windows DirectX and your Windows Gel version. Now they've all merged it together as one with Monogame uh, 3.6. And it's quite nice. You do this, you code it once, uh, then you bundle Mono in for the Mac and Linux version, and boom, you're done. You have everything you need. Okay, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and create a Monogame Windows project, or you can create a cross-platform project. It honestly really doesn't matter. And just hit OK. And I'm going to open up the game1.cs. And as you can see, it has made a default uh, project template here. And we, we're going to go ahead and launch this and just make sure this works. And I'm going to, oh, it's really high up. Hang on. I'll put, oh, I changed it. It's doing all of its lovely stuff that it does. Okay, so there we go. We have game one. We have our new project. Everything's all nice and good. Um, so hopefully you guys have this. If you don't, put a message in the comments section below, and I'll try to help you as best I can. Um, so, yes, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to support me on Patreon. Uh, to be really nice to get some support so I can keep doing these videos. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope you guys like them. If you have any suggestions for anything that you think would fit the micro tutorial series, uh, please let me know. And thank you.